Hey guys, another episode on the road. So I'm stopped for the night here in Carrington, North Dakota at the Casey's General Store where I've stayed before. Good spot for us truckers because not many people come here because it's in between two truck stops. I have Flying J in Minot and then a Loves in Valley City. Brand new Loves, so a lot of people go there. So this place is pretty empty. It's kind of nice. So the drive was good, um, especially when I got to South Dakota. Roads there were awesome. It's hardly any bumps or anything in the road. Good job, South Dakota. My back. Thank you. The truck was not bouncing around. It was great. I uh, did stop for lunch at one truck stop. It was pretty cool. It had a dog run for dogs. And it also had uh, play structures for the kids. So they're thinking more than just truckers. They're thinking families stopping while they're going on their holidays. It's a great idea. More should do that. Um, didn't see too much. It was just a straightforward drive. I did drive almost my full 11 hours. I got as far as I could. i do the same thing tomorrow. I was hoping I'd get to Radisson just north of Saskatoon, but that's really stretching the time. I don't think I'll make it. But, that's okay. It'll be close to around Saskatoon. Maybe I'll just stop outside Saskatoon. We'll see. Because the faster I, the faster I can get home, the more days off I get. Um, speaking of home, I saw that COVID lockdown again, back in Alberta. People are already complaining. Can't do this, can't do that. Well, guess what? Because of you guys, that's why you are where we are. That's why we're back in step one. Because you guys can't follow the rules. They're not hard rules. Stay six feet apart. Wear a mask when you're in public places, in closed places. Sanitize your hands. How hard is that? Got a two-year-old can do it. They did it back in 1918 for Spanish flu, and they didn't have half. Not, they had nothing like we got now. You don't even have to leave your house. Like one of my friends, she barely leaves. She will get groceries sent or set up so she can pick them up. You know, you don't have to. You can get groceries delivered. You can get food delivered with skip the dishes or whatever. You, know, you don't have to leave your house. You know, I'm lucky I have this job. I can stay in the truck. So that's what's keeping me safe. But you just got to follow your rules. Like no matter where I am, I still wear my mask when I go in. Even when I'm in states where it's not required. I'm still wearing the mask going in the stores. It says so on the doors, but they're not enforcing it down here. But I still do it. Anybody who doesn't have a mask, I give them seven to eight feet worth. Just, like, I was working security. We ended up getting so many complaints against my security team that I was, because, like, I don't know what the other teams we didn't hear, but we were getting such pushback from people. They didn't want to get their temperature taken. They didn't want to sanitize their hands. Somebody claimed he was against his human rights to get his temperature taken. Like, come on. That's what we had to do to follow the rules to open the place. And now what? Half my friends don't even work. Work, their works are still shut down. Um, the few that work security are still working, some of them. Um, I don't know what some of my other friends are doing. I haven't heard. Some are sitting on welfare because there aren't many jobs. It's, it's ridiculous because people just can't follow these simple rules. People go, oh, it's the government's fault. We can't get the vaccines out. Yeah, well, us average citizens don't have control over that. We 
we can control wearing our masks and sanitizing if we even leave our house. We can control that. That's what you should be doing. Instead of whining and crying that, oh, I can't go to the gym today. Go walk in your backyard. Do what my mother does and just walk on a spot in your house. Like you don't have to go to your gym. You can work out at home. There used to not be gyms. People didn't worry about it. You know, we're going to keep going back to step one. Keep locking things down. Until they either get eradicated. Eradicate the COVID. Or there's nobody left around. Because they're all being stupid. You know, stop having your underground hidden little parties. You know, and just be adult about this. Do what you have to do. You know, I'm sure the, the police just love having to go to people's houses to issue tickets because they had a party or not social distancing and stuff. You know, people complain, oh, the cops have nothing better to do. Yeah, they have stuff better to do. You can't tell me a police officer wants to show up at your door to give you a ticket because you couldn't, you know, follow the rules of social distancing and not having people over. Like... Like I said, they did it back in 1918, no problem. Like, you, can, you can video chat with everybody if you really need that contact. You know, it's not hard to pick up a phone and call. You know, I talk to my parents still. I talk to other siblings. It's not that hard. So quit your whining and complaining and just do what you're supposed to do. If you don't want to follow those rules, Stay home. Just have everything delivered. Just stay home. Don't leave your house. I know it's hard on a few few people that need that social aspect. Then just video a friend. Or if you know a friend who you know needs that, that social contact, video them. Send send a FaceTime message. Or show up at their house. But keep your social distance. Not hard. They can stand at the doorway. You stand six feet back. All good. Stand in a park or in a parking lot. And talk. But keep your distance. Not hard. Hey, other than that, that's all I gotta say on that. Because it just, it drives me nuts. It does. To me, it seems very simple. So, like I said, tomorrow hopefully I can get, I would like to get as far as Radisson, but I don't think I will. Just time-wise, I got that clock. So, but I'll get a fair distance into Saskatchewan tomorrow, and then, so Thursday, yeah, Thursday I should be parking the truck in the yard, I'm deciding if I'm going to spend the night in the truck do my drug test on Friday or go home and come back to Edmonton. 